Hello there guys. Today I'm going to be introducing you to a whole bundle of games by Indie Royale called the Mayhem Bundle. I'm just going to do what I usually do with individual games, which is to give an overview of what the game is about and give a little bit of my opinion. I'm going to start with Burn Zombie Burn, the top-down zombie shooter included in the bundle. All it is really is a big horde mode. You get a few different weapons that you can use, both melee weapons such as a baseball bat and then a chainsaw, and then guns, basic shotguns, automatics, you, get, you start with a pistol, nothing too special. In fact, I'd say that about the whole game really. It looks alright, it sounds alright, and it plays fine. But there's nothing particularly special about it. Still, if you're looking to blow off some steam and kill some zombies and see some explosions, and of course see some zombies burn, then it might be a fun little experience. There's different maps that you can unlock by getting high scores, so if you're a person that's into high score hunting, then it might be a game for you, it might be some good fun for you. Next up is a game by the name of Lucius. It has basic point and click gameplay, and it's, uh, yeah, I'd call it a horror game, although the gameplay itself is more of puzzle gameplay. You play basically a possessed child that's killing people in a manner. Of course, it's kind of just really generic in a lot of ways. You'll see 666 on the door in the beginning cutscene. It's just a basic devil-possessed child thing. But in the first place, this game is not my kind of game. It's not my favorite style of gameplay. But if you enjoy a point-and-click style of game and want to kill some people in interesting ways, then this could be an excellent game for you. Next up is a game by the name of Plain Sight. It is, in theory, a multiplayer 3D robot fighting game. It's really fast paced, and I really, really like this concept in theory. And that's why I kind of wish I had gotten into this game when it first released, because as of now, the game is pretty much dead. Almost nobody's playing it. This bundle could revitalize it a little bit, but unfortunately, you're going to be playing, if you're playing this game at all, against bots mostly. And even that could be some fun, although... The game, from my experience so far with it, is not quite perfect in terms of bugs. There's some really weird camera stuff going on, and the occasional bit of lag, but that's not too important. The game itself is really unique and really fast-paced. It's based on a lock-on system where you have to be jumping around and avoiding other people while locking onto your enemy, and then after a couple seconds that it takes to lock on, sprinting towards them and hitting them. They of course can block you or get out of the way, so it leads to some pretty fun ways that the combat can unfold. There's an upgrade system that you can use and the game's point system is based on actually accumulating energy from killing other players and then exploding. And you get bonus points if you catch another player in that explosion. Again, just some really unique ideas that unfortunately don't unfold perfectly because of the missing community. Next is another top-down shooter, which is in this case a pretty generic top-down military shooter, Primal Fears. There is a variety of levels to play through alone or with a friend, and honestly, this game is not something that I would return to alone. It's just generic shooting creatures and I don't even see a story in there. I, I don't really know what much there is else to say about the game. It's just the lowest part of this bundle, I'd say. 
and the only reason you'd want to go into this game is if you have a co-op partner that you're just wanting to mess around with in the game. And pretty much any game can be good for that, so why not this one? And then there's Alien Shooter 2 Conscription, which is a third pop-down shooter, also a military shooter, and also kind of generic. But I'd say it's generic more in a way that it's kind of cheesy. And cheesy in a way that I can handle. I'd still say it's not the greatest game. But it is definitely better than Primal Fears. The shooting feels better, the sound and the visuals are better. And there's some RPG elements thrown in there. So you can level up your character and develop them in various ways. There's a campaign and there is a survival mode, and the game is overall just a good time for shooting mobs of aliens if that's what you want to do. There is actually a story in this game, is part of the campaign, although as I already mentioned it's quite cheesy. But overall it's an alright game. Next we have Droplets. Droplets is a puzzle game where you create little paths for droplets to travel down. The goal seems to be mostly about just achieving high scores, which you do by making the right paths and not just wasting everything. Somehow the game is at the same time frantic and strangely relaxing, but that's probably somewhat in part to the ambient music going on. It's a unique puzzle game and it's an interesting and a fun experience and it's I think it's my personal favorite thing of the bundle and something that I might play for a while just to kind of relax. So if you're a fan of something like I don't know Bejeweled or any kind of puzzle game like that this might be something that you enjoy. I say might because it is so unique and not exactly like anything else. Finally we have a game that was just recently added to the bundle which is Ironclad's Anthology. Now this is actually a collection of games that are all pretty similar, they are just set in different time periods and locations, but they are naval combat simulators, and they let you play one side against the other in a combat fleet versus fleet in a turn-based manner, and I think as a simulation it's pretty good and historically accurate, although I'm no expert on that. Although as a game it doesn't seem to have too much depth to it, it's just basically moving ships around, positioning them, and firing various cannons and some other weapons at the enemy in order to sink them. I have to say that it's not really for me so much, for the history nerds out there, it may be an excellent part of this bundle. And that is about it. Now, this bundle overall is kind of fitting of its name of Mayhem because it has a big variety of things, other than of course it's three third person, sorry, it's three top down shooters that it has. So in the closing of this video, what I want to do is figure out if this bundle is any good, and if, if it is, or if it isn't, will it still be good for a certain audience? And I think anyone that's looking for a simple shoot things and blow them up top-down shooter, this bundle is excellent because it has three of those brainless things. The other games fit into the mayhem. There's Lucius, which is good for people to want a nice point and click or a nice horror experience. There's Plain Sight, which while unfortunately it doesn't have the community that it deserves, you might still be able to get some enjoyment out of and you might be able to find some people still playing it. There's Ironclads, which needless to say already has a very niche audience, but for them it's great. And finally there's Droplets, which I think for a certain crowd, people that will spend hours and hours and hours on a puzzle game like this it may be worth the price of the bundle alone. If you don't count yourself among one of those crowds, then this bundle may not be for you. And I'd say overall it is not the strongest bundle in the world. But plenty of people will enjoy it, so 
I will link to where you can get it below. There's a minimum and you can put in anything over that minimum in order to get the bundle. Please let me know if this video has been useful at all and if you'd like to see me do videos like this for any future bundles. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Maple Dungeons and I will see you next time.